Hello, good morning. <laughs> what do you think of my hat? Matches my background. Cheers, we're gonna do fall colors today. We're gonna do a dramatic eye. And um, yeah, I'm ready to go. It's football Sunday. Oh, where'd my hat go? There it is. So in case you didn't know, this is a filter on Facebook Live. For those of you who haven't played around yet, you can do a filter. So my name is Jackie Lawrence here with Thick Long Lashes, and I am going to do a tutorial for you today on a really fun, good morning, Christine, um, fall dramatic eye. I'm also going to do a fall lip too, okay? So we're going to do a fall look, lip look. I've got, oh... 30 minutes to get this done because we are going to go watch the Bears win, right baby? They're going to win this time. <laughs> Hi, Alana. Okay, I'm going to take off this funny hat while we do this tutorial. Let me figure out how to do that. Okay. Oh, here I am. Back to normal. Hey, Christine. I already said that. Oh, it's meshing your names together. Denise, hello. Okay, so I've already put on a primer on my eyes and I'm going to show you the colors. I'm only going to use two colors and black eyeliner today. So I am using um, Faithful. I used this yesterday and I really love this color. We're going to use that as a trans. All right, sorry about the internet, you guys. If you're watching this live, I have the worst internet right now and um, I got to get on that. I got to get that fixed. All right, so I'm using right now a cream shadow brush and I'm using um, a very fall color, which is just a brown. I'm going to call this a medium brown, although on some skin tones it might be a dark brown, but I'm using it as a transition color right into my crease. What do you think of my backdrop today? <laughs> I stole my child's blanket. But it's football, and football to me is fall, so I wanted to do fall colors. I'm not doing Chicago Bear colors, just some really fun fall colors, because Chicago, Chicago Bear colors are orange and blue, and I don't know. I guess I could do those two colors together. I could make them look sophisticated. I just need to be challenged. Okay, so I've started with that brown right in the crease, and that is um, going to be a transition color, okay? It's just to create some depth and some warmth to my eyes. Hi, Ricky. If you're tuning in, let me know. Who are you cheering for today? Who's your, who's your team? And then I'm feathering this color up above my crease just to draw the eyelid up and to create some warmth. I always struggle with this outside corner here. Always. But I'll clean that up later. Okay. So that was <clears throat> Faithful. Okay. Hi, Kylie. So that was Faithful. That's Cream Shadow in the color brown. I'm doing totally fall colors. And we're doing a dramatic eye as well. Because it's just fun. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Fervent, which is the uh, matte burgundy. I really, 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 really love that color. And I'm going to use a deluxe brush, and that is going to go on the entire lid, okay, and into the crease, but not above the crease. Check out this color. You ready? Yeah, baby. It is just, to me, it's the perfect fall color. I'm just 
going right into the crease. I'm not feathering above the crease. I want the, the color concentrated on my lid. Good morning, Donna. Not a pretty color. Fervent is the name of this shade. Matte Burgundy. And I'm going all the way into the inner corner. Don't worry, because we're going to brighten up that inner corner a little bit later when I use some luminizer. Okay, and I'm only doing the top eye because I haven't put concealer under the bottom eye. I always like to do the top lid first before I do the bottom lid, just in case anything gets on my bottom area. If anything drops down here, it's easier to clean up before I put on concealer versus after I put on concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to use black liner. This is the color perfect. Hey babe, can you do me a favor? Can you come over here on this side? I'm gonna try something out. Can you turn that light on? It's just a turn of the switch. Just wanna see if the lighting gets better. See it right there, that little switch? Yep, mm -hmm. just turn it once. Yep, just lead it and it'll come on by itself. Ah, ooh! That does, is that better? <laughs> I don't know if it's better. Let's see, it might be too bright. Oops. Stop. Oh, no babe, can you turn it off? It's blinding me. <laughs> okay, huh? It is. It's too. It's too bright. It's blinding me. I mean, they can see me fine without that light. I just, yeah, I just turned this one up. Okay, black liner, and I'm going to line the top lid straight across. And here's a tip for when you use liner. In fact, I'll sharpen mine. You want to make sure that it's sharpened to a rounded tip. I mean, other than the obvious, you don't want a completely sharp tip so you don't poke your eye, but a rounded tip allows you to actually um, get the product onto your lid much more efficiently than a pointed tip. A pointed tip is going to be a little bit harder and it can kind of hurt. Um, and also when you have a rounded tip, you can get onto the sides really easy and keep it a skinny, skinny line. And a good liner will glide. Hi Shauna. And all the way across. Now if you watched my video yesterday, I told you do not go all the way across on your eyes, right? If you have hooded lids. So this is different. If you're watching this and you have hooded lids, you can try this technique, but I would maybe not go all the way across. And I'm gonna go into the waterline and tight line it. And I'm not really worrying too much right now about having a really straight line because you guys, we're going to buff it out. But I do want a wing. And I want it dark. Okay, let's do the other side and then I'm gonna show you how I buff it out. Hi Donna.
to Donna's watching. And you know what? My mom's name is Donna, and it's her birthday today. <laughs> Donna, do you like my backdrop? <laughs> My little S needs to be straightened out, but I'm afraid it's going to fall. Okay. Good morning, Mariel. So now I'm going to use Fervent again. And how I'm going to do that is... I'm going to take, this is actually called a crease brush, okay, and thanks Donna, and I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to buff, I really want that dramatic eye, but I want to buff and soften that black liner, and I'm going to buff it out with the same color that I have on my lid, and then it's going to darken uh, really close to my lid as well. So I'm going in and just buffing it out. just like that. Let's do the other side. So you can kind of see the difference, how this one's kind of softer now, and I have more concentrated color on this lid than I do on this lid, because I haven't buffed that lid, so let's buff it out. And I'm just buffing it out with the same color, and buffing means kind of like rubbing. Um, going back and forth over that one area. All right, then I'm going to just, any color that kind of deposited in the bottom area, I'm going to move that out of the way. All right, I'm gonna highlight underneath my eyes and then we'll finish under my eyes. Good morning, Teresa. Teresa, I know you don't like my backdrop. <laughs> You're a Packer fan. Did you guys hear the story about my son's flag football team? So I have a good friend that I actually met years and years ago from the gym. Hey, Chris. I'm buffing the liner, Mariel. Yes, I was buffing the liner. And I buffed it with the same color that I had on my lid, which is fervent. So anyways, I have a good friend. I was looking for a flag football team, and so she um, messaged me and said her husband is a flag football coach. So I was like, oh, perfect. And so she said, if you're interested, you tell me all the details. And... I was like, yeah, okay, we, we signed up. I didn't ask any other questions. <laughs> I just signed up. She didn't tell me any more information. I just signed up. And we went out to the first practice and it was awesome and the coach, he's awesome and you know, like my son likes the team and he's happy and so we're good, right? Till the second practice. We're at the second practice and he's like, all right, everyone, on three. Like at the end of the practice, you know, they were getting in their little huddle and uh, the coach was like, on three, everyone say Packers. And I was like, wait, why? <laughs> and he was like, that's the name of our team. <laughs> and I was like, what? No, that can't be the name of our team. <laughs> and he was like, why, are, are you guys Bears fans or something? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we're total Bears fans. So we're just going to have to suffer through it we, being... Um, on a Packer team. Somebody recommended that I get my son some Chicago Bears underwear just to kind of offset the Packerness. <laughs> and it was so funny because my son, like, they did a, uh, you know, a chant at the end of the last practice and there was, he was, the coach was like, on three, one, two, three, Packers win. And they did one, two, three, and my son went, Packers lose. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but we don't like the Packers. I'm like, yeah, but your, your team is the Packers, so you kind of have to like your team that you're on. <laughs> I've brainwashed that kid. He's not even from Chicago, but they're like Chicago fans. Okay. So I have my bottom eye area is done. Hi, Angelica. I love your name. It's so pretty. I'm going to do um, the bottom eye now. So I'm gonna put black liner on, the bottom lid. Go Packers! 
<laughs> Mariola, our Packer fan. Oh, <laughs> I, I do. I will tell you this. Um, I do like the quarterback a lot. Well, I, I used to like him more than I like him now. Um, but I still like him. And I don't even know his, I don't even remember his name. What's the quarter, what's the quarterback's name of the Packers, babe? Aaron Rodgers. I do like Aaron Rodgers. And I, I'm really, we have, new, I don't even know our new quarterback's names, but I'm just happy it's not Cutler anymore. And I feel bad saying that because I don't wish any ill will for him, but. He didn't do that good for our team. Hi, Bernadette. What's girl going on, girl? Okay, so what I just did there is I tight lined my bottom lid as well. So I used the liner. I went on the side of the liner and I went on the edge and on the inside. Can you see what I just did? So I tight lined at the same time I placed the liner on the line. Okay, but we're gonna buff this out too. Wait, this is my favorite part of this look is when I put fervent on the bottom. And I'm gonna use that crease brush again. And here we go, Buff, buffing it out. I'm gonna try not to open my mouth. It's so hard. I can't do it. Look at how pretty that is. This is like one of the best fall colors. Think. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Erin. Erin, you're a Bears fan, right? <laughs> Help me out here. <laughs> Help me out. Help a sister out. <laughs> okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to brighten up the inner corner of my eye just a little bit, and I'm going to do a little bit of a highlight on the brow bone, and I'm using this. Let's see if you can see it. This is a luminizer, which we're also gonna do on my cheekbones, I think, yeah, we are. It's called Bene Benevolent. You know my favorite brush in the whole wide world is the blending brush. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the blending brush and go into the um, brow bone. So I'm highlighting there, and I'm gonna go into the inner corner just to kinda highlight there. So it brightens up, see how it brightens up the inner corner of my eye? And that's optional if you really want a smoky, dramatic look you would maybe avoid doing the inner corner. But I wanted a little bit of a highlight. Done with that. All right, now we've gotta put on some mascara. And I am just gonna do this Epic. I've already put on, I have my Esteem Lash Serum so that my eyelashes continue to grow. And I'm going to just comb through my lashes and make sure that's all out. And then we're gonna put on some mascara and then I gotta go finish the rest of my contour. I'll take a picture for you guys and then I gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go watch the bears somewhere else because I don't have ESPN or, no, it's on Fox, but Fox is showing Cardinals. Sadly, I don't get the bears game.
Epic Mascara is what I'm using. Hey, Joe. Now, look. It's a fun fall color, isn't it? It's just popping. So this is a second coat of Epic, and I'm just doing Epic today. And I'm focusing on the outer corner. The brush on this mascara is to die for. It separates your lashes for you as it deposited, deposits color on your lashes. And it provides a little bit of a curl. So you get a little curl on your lashes too. I always get my right eye longer than my left. So let's work on that. Okay. All right, that's the end of my tutorial right now for today. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup. Oh, you know what? I was gonna show you a fall lip. You know, let's, you know what? Heck with it. I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup here right now for you, okay? I'm gonna do a little, we'll do it fast so I can get to my fall lip. So I'm gonna do a contour. You can see how fast I actually get ready when I'm not talking. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, babe? <laughs> my mom was texting me to say, ask for a VW. I said, no, my wife's getting ready on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> what? We have time, right? It doesn't start till 10, right? Right. What time is it? 9.45. Crap. All right, I'm hurrying. Contour. We're contouring right now, babe. Who's the quarterback for the Bears, baby? Who? Mike Glennon. Mike Glennon. Is that the one I like? No, you like the rookie. I like the rookie. What's his name? Mitchell Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky. Why do I like the rookie? Because he's not the starter. Because he's cute. That's why. Right? No. Yes, it has to be the only reason I like him. He's not cute? I don't think so. <laughs> my hands are sweating. I can't even open my stuff. Karen, like my backdrop today? I know she likes my backdrop today. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm trying to hurry so that I can get to a fall lip. And I got hubby in the background like, see, senora, <laughs> hubby in the background. Waiting, waiting, waiting so we can go watch the Bears game.
All right, let's do just a little bit of a highlight on the cheeks, and then I'm gonna get to a really cool fall lip. A little highlight there. Oh, you know what? I didn't blend my contour on my lips. I want my lips to be bigger, babe, not thinner. Contour, no, contour creates shadowing um, so that your lips appear bigger and more plump. Yes, that's their, they look more kissable. That's why you always want to kiss them, right? Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, if I can find it, a lip brush, which I don't know what to do with it. Here it is. Okay, so we are using this color, which is stuck up. <laughs> and I'm going to use a lip brush. I prefer to use a lip brush to put on lipstick because it allows me to control the amount that actually goes on my lips and it provides better placement of the product. Okay, so I'm just using a lip brush. And I'm not lining my lips. And by the way, when you smack your lips, you do not rub back and forth. Just press, okay? Just press, because you're not trying to move the product. You're just trying to transfer the product. See, pretty, pretty fall color. And I like too the brush that allows me to kind of go a little bit outside my lip line so that my lips look even bigger. All right, <laughs> I'm finally done, I'm finally done. Let's spray it down, and then I have to say goodbye. <sighs> Hi, Monique. Okay, fall dramatic eyes. I just completed my entire look. I also did a fall lip, but you can see that I've used Fervent. I also used a little bit of, I think, Fortunate or Faithful on the crease, and Fervent with some black liner. We smudged it and buffed it all out, so. Give this look a try, let me know how it goes. Share this video if you feel like someone else could benefit from this tutorial. Of course, um, please go back to the presenter that may have shared this with you in regards to any of the products, if you're interested in looking at those, or you can go to thicklonglashes.com if you do not have a presenter, and I will see you again soon, ciao.